Hey guys, Bob here. Um, got a quick, no, not quick. It's an NU match. It was, it was actually pretty long. Um, and kind of interesting. It was, um, it was using that team that I made with Super Effective 87. Link to the channel will be in the description. Um, yeah, fun. Anyway, uh, so I looked at his team and it was like, it was, a lot of it was weak to Stealth Rocks, but I wanted to get, uh, I wanted it to be, at least be able to get, um, what you call it, uh, some stuff paralyzed if it came in. So, uh, Electrode, you're in. Um, he does have the Proba Pass, and it has Earth Power, but he makes a really good prediction there and goes for the Stealth Rock as I switch. Um, or I guess, it, probably not really good, but it, it was kind of obvious. Anyway, he Thunder Waves me as I get my rocks up, but I'm going to Thunder Wave him right back, I think. Uh, he goes for Volt Switch, though. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm not really sure how fast Miss Spirit is, but it's kind of interesting that Proba Pass helps about it. I know I'm paralyzed, but still... Okay, I Thunder Wave and Altaria. Great. Um, I know Altaria can be really specially bulky, so um, I'm not going to want to stick around too long. Um, I do have Muck, though, who's a pretty good special wall, and most of what Altaria does is special. So uh, I come in, eat a, dragon, or a Draco Meteor, and uh, does 49%, which is a lot, but it's not, like, it's not, like, ridiculous. Um... You know, and I, I can rest and uh, just recover it all. Um, yeah, he goes into Bisharp, who is dangerous, obviously. Bisharp is like, I don't know, I don't see a lot of it, but when I do see it, it makes me sad. Um, so I'm going to go for Brick Break there as he goes for sub. So he realizes that he can't stay in and uh, eat another one, but I don't want to overpredict, so... Um, he goes into Jump Bluff, and I go for the, um, Poison Jab, but he Encores me, so I have to go br Brick Break, which is awful. Um, probably should have stayed in with Muck there, but, or no, wait, no, that, that'd be awful, wouldn't it? Anyway, so I'm gonna go into Altaria, because I figured I can resist a Grass Attack, not that this thing ever attacks, but, um, you know, it's, what, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, Altaria can not, or can break its sub with, um, Draco Meteor, so that's what I was thinking. Um, but, yeah, that's, uh, that might not be easy. Anyway, uh, I am Life Orb, so this is really wearing me down fast. But I don't want to go for a rest, because then Switch will be obvious. It'll have a sub up, and it'll just ruin my day. So, I kind of got to stay in. And, uh, you know, just make sure that I can bring something else in. Uh, here I go into Electrode, because I'm an idiot. I should have gone straight into Hariyama and, like, ruined this guy's day. But, you know, I didn't. Um, so, yeah. Um, I am going to be able to get a sub up, though, because he doesn't want to overpredict, and, you know, because sometimes Electrode carries the HP ice, and that would just ruin him. So I get a free sub up, and uh, I'm going to go for the T-Bolt. Um, yeah. So, uh, that does nothing, but, you know, I wanted to at least go for an attack, and he has to go for the Earth Power there. Here, I should have probably, I don't know what I could have done, but um, I could have done it better, I'll tell you that. I was thinking he might just stay in and keep going for the Earth Power trying to kill me, but, um, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and um, he, he was pretty obviously just going to go for the Volt Switch. But I go into my spirit, I figure I can T-Wave something or something, but he's going to be able to, uh, or he's got that Bisharp, and it's like, ugh. I can't even do anything to it either. But I go for the U-turn, and I'm going to go back into Muck, and Muck's like, yo, dog, I'm a Muck. Um, yeah, I just played so bad. I, like, I, I'm, at the time, I thought this battle was, like, so epic. Um, I, I played really bad. <laughs> Especially in the beginning. Oh, well. Again, hindsight is twenty twenty. Um, so now I'm going to, you know, see if I can break this thing's subs. Um... And be all predictable and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's great. Anyway, come on. He, he's thinking. I don't know what he was thinking about, but he thought about it for a while. Um, but yeah, I just go for the Brick Break. He used for the Sword Stance, and now he's going to be able to knock me out with the Sucker Punch. I guess I could have gone for uh, for Curse there, but um, you know, if I ever predicted, let him get another sub up or something, that would have been bad. So, um, you know, had to... 
had to say or you know had to do that anyway now i'm going to go into electrode and this is actually kind of interesting i go for the t-wave i guess he was going for the iron head or whatever else this thing carries um but yeah now i'm gonna go for the sub there uh predicting the sucker punch because now he's slower like he's a lot slower than i am although i he never really would have figured that he was faster than me anyway i should have gone into this guy last turn um whatever anyway i'm gonna go for the fake out make sure i get my toxic orb up because i'd like to have the toxic orb up it'll be good for later anyway now i'm gonna go for the close combat and easily knock him out um poor guy four times super effective from a toxic orb boosted or like you know guts boosted harry on of giant fist things i don't even know what those are supposed to be they look like oven mitts actually no they almost look like mickey mouse hands except for they're brown Hmm. Anyway, he's gonna go into Ninjask, and that's like, yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, bullet punch, knocked out. Um, maybe he wasn't predicting that. I don't know. Um, bullet punch is very handy though. It's this is one of the only teams I actually have priority on, and uh, it's coming handy. Anyway, Sock's gonna come in, and I don't want to deal with Sock because Sock is dangerous. Uh, so I'm gonna go into Mess Spirit and see what kind of damage this thing is gonna do. And it doesn't do a lot, so I'm thinking it might be scarfed. Um. Yeah, Pro uh, I'm just definitely scarfed it. Like, you know, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Um, and I'm going to go for the T-Wave, but he brings in that guy, and that doesn't help. Um, which, again, is why I was thinking, like, he's probably scarfed, so, you know, if I T-Wave him, then Archeops will be like, hey, I'm an Archeops, and I'm going to ruin you. Um, but he, he knows that Archeops will ruin him, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna close combat this thing. I thought he might switch there, which is why I went for the fake out. Obviously a bad move. He's not gonna switch. Um, yeah, nothing he has can, or like, really wants to take a, um, a close combat, especially now that he knows I have bullet punch. So, um, even that, um, what you call it? Um, even his Altaria. Is that still alive? I don't remember. Um, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Altaria's still alive. Anyway, he's going to go into Sock, and maybe he was running Calx. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go for, or I'm gonna go back into Mespirit, who is really physically defensive, which is why I went into it. Um, and I'm going to go for the T-Wave again, and um, should have gone for an attack there, but oh well. Like, if I can get this thing, or if I could have gotten that thing Thunder Waved, Archeops would have been able to sweep him, and that would have been awesome. Uh, which is, that was the goal, you know, to you know make sure that Archeops can knock this stuff out. But... As it turns out, that's not happening. But he does sack his, um, uh, what you call it, jump off, just to get, um, his, um, that thing back to full health. So, uh, now he's gonna go for the, uh, that thing. Um, what did he do, Dragon Pulse? And now I'm like, wait a minute. Archeops can come in now. I know he'll outspeed me with, uh, Sock, but then I can just revenge kill with, uh, priority. So, uh, at this point I realized I had one, because, um, you know, Acrobatics just does an obscene amount of ja of damage um so yeah that's uh that's he he does outspeed though because uh he is scarfed as i thought um and sorry uh so scarfed sock is like ridiculous anyway but now i'm just gonna go into harry i'm a fake out and bullet punch and i do get the win so uh good game dude uh even though you left before saying good game to me mean anyway um hope you guys enjoyed uh, I, I am off tomorrow from, uh, from work and stuff, so I'll be uploading, uh, probably a couple of videos. I have a Minecraft, um, Feed the Beast with, Te uh, with, uh, Jason, and I was there, but, cause we were at his house, but, um, it's just me and Jason, and then, um, I've got a RuneScape video, like, yeah, me and my clan, um, so, yeah, I'll upload that, or, you know, I do, gotta do a bunch of video editing, editing for them, so, um, yeah, I'll upload them tomorrow. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, see you later.